Richard Clark Estes is a very quiet, well-mannered, polite individual. He was born in Austin, Texas in 1937, and he went to high school in Lubbock, Texas, graduating in 1955. In high school, two of his many activities were being a member of the dance club and being student manager on the basketball team. And one of the most exciting things I learned about Richard while looking through his yearbook was that one of his classmates and good friends was the Buddy Holly of rock and roll fame. Richard moved to Bartlesville in March of 1962, where he began his working career with Phillips Petroleum Company in the Research and Development Department. Being a bachelor all his life, he lived alone, and he bought him a house downtown, so he was close to work, church, and everything. He was an avid exerciser, and he had a swim bicycle, which he rode for 30 years. He rode his bicycle to work, to church, everywhere he went downtown. And his one luxury in life was his automobiles. He owned a Ford Thunderbird and a Chevrolet Corvette. We met Richard through our attendance of the First Baptist Church. Over time, our relationships grew closer together. We would have Richard over for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners, and he just sort of become part of our family. And then as time went by and we became aware of his declining health issues, why the Lord just seemed to have us step in and take care of Richard on a daily basis which we did over a period of 19 months. And one of the first things I did in helping Richard was to work on his income tax return. And my experience as a corporate accountant came in very handy and it helped me to get his financial affairs and organized. And being aware of the trust that he had set up with the Baptist Foundation, well, we contacted the Tulsa office to inform them of what his current circumstances was in life. As Richard's health began to decline further, we made arrangements to move him to Broken Arrow to the Baptist Village there. At this time, the foundation took over as trustee of his estate and the managing of his financial affairs. Eventually, the assets from his trust will flow through to the scholarship fund, which he had set up in his mother's name at the seminary in Fort Worth, and these funds will provide scholarships for the students there who one day will be out in the world sharing God's Word. 